is before you. One by one we will take you. So Dave. Yes, Tim. This is a top five. A top five? Wow. Oh my God. Yeah, another one. There's not I'm, enough on YouTube, are there? We need more. We give people more all the time. We sure do. We do. Because we are two people. Therefore, it's a top 10. And it's both genres. We do science fiction from my standpoint and mm -hmm. horror from your standpoint. Sometimes we, we, we overlap, but there are movies that overlap those genres. So, so do we. This week, we are going to list in ascending order the top five mm -hmm. most overrated movies in our respective genres. I'm curious, what did you use for your criteria for overrated? You know what? It was a combination of things. Mm -hmm. I looked at Rotten Tomatoes to see what was highly rated first, to see if there was one in there that I totally disagreed with. But I mm -hmm. also considered movies that were hyped really hard. Sort of mine too. I mean, I didn't go to Rotten Tomatoes because I never do, but it had to be A, obviously be a movie I have seen and B, it had to be something that was so hyped and yet I totally disagree with the hype. So you want to go first? What's number Absolutely. five? My number five is a movie we just covered on our podcast, <laughs> Dead of Night. This okay. was an anthology horror movie from 1945 that is ranked extremely high on Rotten Tomatoes. And lots of people say it's one of the scariest movies they've ever seen. And it's not scary at all, with exception to one little shot of a ventriloquist dummy standing up at the end, which is kind of chilling, other than H.G. Wells being one of the writers on this movie it's not that memorable sure it did set up the formula for future anthology movies and i love anthology movies but to me this was an overrated movie i would agree with that actually on that one <laughs> My number five from the sci-fi genre is Under the Skin. It comes up all the time on people's top 10, top 20, or oh my gosh, you have to see these. It also comes up on lists of bizarre or unique or avant-garde or artsy cinema things as well. 2013 movie starring Scarlett Johansson as an alien who basically does the species gag and has to pick up guys and then kill them in weird black oil. And it is a terrible film. It is terrible paced it is not uh, people say it's such a great character uh, look, study no it's not it's a it's an awful awful film and it gets such great reviews and yeah i've never seen it but i've seen lots of shots from it so i'm thinking i must have saw it on some kind of documentary or something yeah probably i mean people do review like i said it's hyped people say oh you've got a it's a you know it's a lost gem or oh it's one of these avant-garde films that uh, if you're not really cool or into the genre you won't get it and I'm like, no, you're just not good. That's why you don't get it. But. Yeah, they're dead. They're all messed up. All right. Well, my number four, we're going to go back a little bit this time, not quite as far as Dead of Night, to 1979's The Amityville Horror. Really? Okay. Yeah. This movie, the hype of this movie started before the movie because the book was hyped so much because it was supposedly based on a true story. But it was not scary. I remember going to the movie theater thinking, this is going to be the scariest movie. It is not scary. It is not scary at all. There's a pig named Jody that Jody, is, yeah, yeah, that's pig. hiding around and and looking in windows. But basically, all you get in this movie is two little red lights that look like eyes. The father becomes possessed and supposedly gets bitten by a ceramic lion on the fireplace hearth. You never really see it. You just hear it fall over, and then he grabs his ankle and it's bleeding. I'm like, why aren't they showing this stuff? Anyway. Mm -hmm. Very, very hyped movie for those of you that did not live in that time, <laughs> since we're old geezers. But I saw it at the theater and I hated it. Uh, I also did not like it. I remember uh, Rod Steiger, doesn't he play the priest in it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that that was really the only scene I found was kind of creepy was all the flies and him. Uh -huh. And especially the finale run out of the house part. Oh my gosh, go watch Flanagan's Hill House watching a family run out of, the house. Out of the That's house. That's scary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is not. I agree with you. 
My number four, going back to 1997, and again, we have covered it on the podcast, if you guys <laughs> want to go back to it. It is a lovely little science fiction film people seem to love called Contact. I think this movie is extremely overhyped. It stars Jodie Foster and Kevin McConaughey is kind of mumbling everything he says all the way through. It's Matthew just, McConaughey. Matthew, yeah. <laughs> um I just, I, uh, you know, I said it in the podcast and I've, you know, you and I have talked about it before. I just think this is an extremely overhyped movie. Parts of it make no sense whatsoever as far as character motivation. And then the finale is absolutely just such a cop out and people go, Oh, it, it made me want to become a scientist. Well, good for you. Beat them or burn them. They go up pretty easy. Uh, My number three is one that I think that you're going to agree with. And I know at least one of our friends won't. And I cannot remember the year this movie came out because because I'm trying to repress it. It is called <laughs> House of a Thousand Corpses. Uh, uh, okay. Yep. Um, I can't tell you how many people insisted I watch this movie when it was new release. I've heard that Rob Zombie is a genius. I say no, he's not. Uh, I agree. He's a fan. This movie has gore and depravity, and gore and depravity are just accents to a story, not the subject. So basically this movie is just superficial with no depth whatsoever. And I didn't even like the characters in it, so. I would agree with you. That's not a good film. It no, and me. it was hyped. Uh, my number three, again, we have covered it on the podcast. And again, a, night, a little 2014 gem starring Matthew McConaughey. Oh my Interstellar. God. Interstellar <laughs> is so overhyped and it is Nolan without a cause. Why are you picking these thing. movies for our podcast? <laughs> uh, because, you know, sometimes it's good to disagree or sometimes it's good to tell people no, what they shouldn't I, see. Yeah. I know why you picked them. I just um, think it's funny that they ended up on this list and we just recently covered those two. I I think we started this season with Interstellar. Interstellar was, was this season and Contact premiere. was last season. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, again, you know, I've said it on the podcast. Go back and listen to that. But this movie was so overhyped and it's on everybody's top five list of the best science fiction movies ever made. And no, it is not. There are several, several dozen that are better than this. And even do time travel and black holes better. So there's that. Why are you torturing me like this? Okay, well, my number two, number two is another one that came out uh, probably around the time of House of a Thousand Corpses, maybe a little later, and it is World War Z. Hate this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I have never know, seen I don't it. know even where to begin. Big budgets and horror movies rarely go together. True. Um, and if you don't believe me, watch George Romero's Land of the Dead, which is his most expensive and probably worst zombie movie. Wow. This okay. is another prime example. It's not even the same as the book. It's a totally different story with fast zombies. And the book is throughout history with zombies being slow moving and in World War II and all these other places. Whereas in this, it's just a totally different story. They set up an impossible scenario, but they make this family with Brad Pitt and his wife and kids like super adept at getting out of incredibly implausible situations. It's it's just ridiculous. It makes me angry because every time it's on, I, I end up sitting down and watching some of it to see if I'm wrong and I'm not. Hmm. War Z. Bad War Z, and overrated. Bad. Well, speaking of very overrated, I'm glad we're there because my number two will probably piss off a lot of sci-fi fans because oh. they tend to like this movie. And I, as you know, do not. It is a, uh, a little a little gem that even some people call the most popular movie ever made. It was directed and written and envisioned and created and beaten into a pulp by a man named James Cameron. And it's called Avatar from 2009. I, I really don't like this movie and watching it again. Yet again, another podcast. Maybe. Another podcast, <laughs> watching it again. I didn't like it then either. Um, <laughs> This is a terrible script. It is absolutely terrible. And anybody who sits there and goes, oh, just uh, no, 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 no. Derivative, bad, badly plotted. But we must defeat um, the sky people. Ride with me to the other clans and we will defeat the sky people. The sky people. Yes. <laughs> Worship at the big tree. And the sequels are coming eventually, I guess. I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah. It's one's coming what, in um, yeah. December. It's yeah. been, what, 12 freaking years, so hopefully there'll be a sequel, I guess. But it won't, uh, based on the previews, it may go on this list, too. <laughs> so, there you go. Well, that brings me to my number one. 
Your number and guess one what? most overrated movie. Most overrated movie, and you're gonna love it, and you're gonna know it. <laughs> My number one is the Blair Witch Project. Oh yes. Speaking of agree. hype, Whoa, let's just admit I, that the only thing this movie had going for it. Hype. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> genius marketing plan, I have yeah. to say. At the time, genius. Yes. It, 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 it was incredible marketing with nothing to back it up. As far as World War Z, it's the exact opposite. It looks like it was a homemade student film yes. <laughs> with a bunch of kids running around with shaky cameras in the woods. And it insinuates false moods, trying to make you think it's scary. And it's not. It's just annoying. Yep, I agree. And it's another movie we've covered on this podcast. And we actually got people can't coming for me a little bit because I hate it so much. Too bad. Sorry, I mean, folks. Yeah. Just an opinion. Just an opinion. Just an opinion. <laughs> and my opinion for the most overhyped makes everybody's list. They talked about, they've even done a multi-season series, I think on Sci-Fi, one of the networks about it. It's from 2013, stars Chris Evans and a really weird Tilda Swinson, Snowpiercer. Mm. <laughs> Uh, gets a lot of hype. People say it's brilliant. It's so well thought out. It's incredible. No, it's not. It's about a train that survives the apocalypse and goes around the world and just continues, never stops, just continues to go around the world. Yeah, it doesn't run out of gas or anything. Never runs out. Of, well, it's because you got to get to the secret sacred engine up front sort of thing. <laughs> Even if you buy into the premise of an eternally perpetually going train each car is a totally different society and a totally different portion of society. It makes, you know, all the workers in the back, all the rich people are up front. There's an education train in the middle where all the kids are trained. There's a hedon. It's, oh, it's terrible. It's such a bad movie. Anyway, my number one awful top five bad overhyped. Well, there you go. Yep. Well, I have some honorable mentions. Okay. One of these is recent. Well, it's a recent discovery. It's not a recent film. And it is rated like almost 100 on Rotten Tomatoes. I want to say it is 100. Uh, if not, it's like a 99. And mm -hmm. it is a, a found movie of George Romero's called The Amusement Park. Yeah, I have read a little bit about that. I haven't seen it yet. It's horrible. It's clearly like an educational film that he was asked to do. And it's basically about getting old. And I watched it one day for five minutes and I was like, this is a waste of time. So I stopped. And then I thought about it for a couple of weeks. I was like, it's less than an hour. I'll just go ahead and finish it. Maybe I'm missing something. No, no, it's, it's no. just a terrible movie about a guy wandering around an amusement park and he's old and people kind of pick on him and that's it. And it's not a horror movie and sorry, George, but maybe it shouldn't have resurfaced. Mm, okay. But I mean, I don't know why it's getting all the hype of being so great. It's not. Okay. You have more honorable mention. I do. And these two, I, I, you can lump in either or it's um, <laughs> hostile and Saul. Oh, I mean, yes. both of them are just gory messes with very little substance. They're gore well, for gore sake. And that's well it. said. Well said for both of them. I have two uh, honorable mentions and... <laughs> Something's flying around David's head. Yes. No, I'm hearing a beep beep. Uh, I'll be right uh, I have... He's having a stroke. <laughs> I have two honorable mentions and uh, both will get me in trouble. I'm sure we've covered, well, one of these, I, we definitely have covered on the podcast. I'm not sure about the other one. One is Looper. I uh, like the movie. It's okay. It's not, but it is so overhyped as an incredible time travel, incredible I agree. Great story, da, da, da. And it's, it's not. It I really mean, is. I was excited for us to do it on the podcast because yep. I'd always heard how great it was. And then yep. I was kind of like, what? Eh, it's okay, but not great. Yeah. And the other one you'll totally disagree with, but I think it's horribly overhyped, which is Guardians of the Galaxy. I just don't oh, like no, that I movie. Like it. I mean, it's it's okay, <laughs> but I think it is severely overhyped. And I know that will piss off a lot of people. Uh, it almost made my list, but then I went, no, Under the Skin is actually a lot worse than that. So Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like Guardians, but I don't recall it being overhyped. I just remember it being a Marvel movie, and all of those are well. Well, all those are so, hyped. Yeah. Yes, there you go. Um, was there a third or did nope, I miss? That was, I only okay. had two. Yep. All right. Well, folks, that was it for our top overrated movies. Remember, yes. you got 10 instead of five. 
And we here at Johnny Has the Keys would like to thank you for joining us today. Just remember that if you like these top fives or if you want to know about new movies that are coming to get you, or if you want to go to our regular show, which is Johnny Has the Keys, and see us go in-depth on an individual movie, subscribe down below. All these shows are on YouTube. You can also hop over to Patreon if you're looking for a more in-depth television experience where we have shows on Star Trek and the X-Files. Until next week, David, it's been great. Yep. See you then. Alrighty, bye. Bye. You can't start the car. Johnny has the keys.